Mr. Chairman and Senators, thank you for the opportunity to appear before you today to discuss research at the University of Wyoming related to reducing air emissions through the development of new technologies and efficient practices in manufacturing and energy production and use. I'm the Director of Energy Policy and Economics at the School of Energy Resources at UW and also direct the Carbon Management Institute, which is one of SER's centers of excellence. All the projects and research areas noted in my testimony are important so that the United States remains a leader in using its abundant energy resources with reduced impacts to air quality. These air issues also are important to Wyoming, which is one of the nation's leading energy jurisdictions. According to the U.S. Energy Information Administration data for 2015, first, Wyoming produced 42 percent of all coal mined in the United States. Second, 32 states received coal from Wyoming mines, with 10 states, including Wyoming, obtaining more than 90 percent of their domestic coal from Wyoming. Third, Wyoming accounted for 6.2 percent of U.S. marketed natural gas production, and fourth, almost 88 percent of net, net electricity generation in Wyoming came from coal and nearly 11 percent came from renewable energy resources, primarily wind. Sitting in the Rocky Mountain West, Wyoming energy resources face a variety of environmental challenges and opportunities from the state of California's enduring air and climate regulatory programs to fuel choices by Wyoming customers of Wyoming energy. My written testimony provides a broad overview of UW's research divided into the following topical areas. First, reducing atmospheric emissions of greenhouse gases and other constituents associated with the combustion of fossil fuels. Secondly, utilizing carbon dioxide once it is combusted uh, from the utilization of fossil fuels. And third, not creating emissions in the first instance, which would include, for example, taking coal directly to beneficial products instead of combusting it for, um, for electricity. My written remarks uh, conclude with some, some brief observations about our policy work and ongoing engagements with regional stakeholders such as Idaho National Lab. With respect to topic area number one, reducing emissions uh, from the combustion of fossil fuels, UW is working on numerous technologies such as flameless pressurized oxyfuel combustion, co-firing coal with biomass, um, and measurements of methane and volatile organic compound emissions from oil and gas operations. With respect to topic area two, utilizing carbon dioxide once it is produced from the combustion of fossil fuels. The state of Wyoming is an ideal jurisdiction to advance research and projects related to capturing and utilizing emissions of carbon dioxide. For example, led by the Wyoming Infrastructure Authority and with the support of many private and public sector entities in Wyoming, the Gillette-based Integrated Test Center will soon serve as an operational test site for CO2 capture technology developers and providers to evaluate carbon carbon capture utilization and storage technologies using actual fuel uh, gas from a coal-fired power plant. The ITC is also hosting the coal track of the $20 million NRG COSIA Carbon X Prize, a global competition to develop breakthrough technologies that convert CO2 emissions from fossil fuel combustion into products with the highest net value. It's also worth noting that Wyoming is one of only a handful of states with existing CO2 pipeline infrastructure, with ongoing efforts to expand the same under the Wyoming Pipeline Corridor Initiative. Wyoming also has an existing CO2 enhanced oil recovery industry and has enacted laws to encourage the environmentally responsible siting and operation of CCUS related projects in the state. My written testimony provides more details about the abundant work we are doing in the area of CO2 utilization. Thirdly, the third topic, a research area I wanted to cover is you know, advancing coal, the utilization of coal in a non combustion environment. UW is alone in developing and advancing novel and innovative technologies related to the extraction and production of valuable non-BTU products from coal. The primary focus of this research is to advance coal utilization as a feedstock to manufacture and generate valuable non-BTU coal-related uh, products, such as carbon fiber and carbon-rich chemicals, agricultural, and building products. And some of these products, for example, graphite and carbon fiber, are predicted to be in short supply as the demand for lightweight materials, renewable energy, and the like grows in the years ahead. Our work on rare earth elements is also expanding. UW researchers, in collaboration with colleagues on campus and throughout the region, are separately investigating the identification, characterization, and separation of REEs from coal, coal byproducts, and produced waters. Expansion of domestic sources of REEs remains a high priority for policymakers. 
This concludes my uh, verbal testimony. I commend the committee for addressing the issue of the role that innovative technologies are playing in reducing air emissions. UW is doing its best to advance the frontiers of this research areas for the benefit of a variety of stakeholders. The ongoing federal role in supporting these research endeavors is imperative. Um, I would be pleased to answer any questions that you may have. Thank you. 